Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Please subscribe and like and we'll get right into this video. This video is going to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Bible, Air Bible. Okay, we've all seen the person we're talking about, Christopher Mitchell, his lying, deceptive ways. First, I'm going to get up the get out the one good thing congratulations you've had a two three game winning streak it's not ninety thousand dollars a month it's not five thousand dollars a day like you proclaimed it's not making the big bucks let's just say at the end of the week the seven day week unless you take off a couple of days and you never lose let's say you make let's say you make two grand a week 52 weeks it's $104,000 a year. Highly what I would call goat-like. 100K when you got $36,000 a year in rent before you have bills. You don't pay taxes, so we can't get you there. Before you pay the lease on your car, before you do anything, you're not making diddly squat at two grand a week. And you're going to have losing weeks, so let's just get, cut through the numbers and cut through the chase and quit the BS. Because at 100K, between, between, uh, without you feeding champers or changing one diaper, and I know you don't have health insurance. You probably just go to the little clinic. I know you don't have any health insurance. That's so easy to prove, but you don't have any health insurance. So let's say you make 100K a year. Never lose two grand a week. That's 104000 36000 in rent. You have to eat. You have to do your thing. You don't have any other business ventures. You're a liar. There's no other business ventures or you'd show them because you're the goat. And uh, the goat has got an ego the size. It's just your ego is the size of, um, oh my God, I'm just going to be quiet there. But let's just get into this uh, video. At one hundred k a year, you're you're probably even getting some type of unemployment or welfare or something i'm sure you're getting some kind of supplemental income because you're not i mean you're not making anything you can so easily prove it but you refuse to prove it you refuse to show your history you show your stuff on a scratch pad and you put the stuff into the computer one week two weeks three weeks of winnings picks isn't anything you know, I'm going to give you the free gambling tip of the day. When you're red hot like Christopher is, you don't do the slow and steady bets. you got to capitalize on a hot streak. You know, he doesn't know how to enter the bets and make real money because he's playing parlays. He doesn't know how to do it. Um, he's got a red hot Houston team. Who isn't playing Houston? That's no secret. Mattress Mac put in Houston. Christopher knows him. He's put several... Millions of dollars on them. And Christopher Mitchell, I'm telling you, you're not anything to be boasting after one week. Not even after six months or a year. You've got to sustain this thing. You've done it. You just decided to get into sports gambling. You, this is brand new to you. And wait till you hit the, wait till you hit the uh, perennial wall of uh, losing when you're not red hot. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It happens to every gambler, whether they're professional or not. It's going to happen. Does that make any sense to you? It's going to happen. Okay? And um, you've never showed us any of your other business ventures, entities. Let me let me tell you what I've got sent to me and what I have for Christopher Mitchell. Year, last March, just before the pandemic, you know, before, as he's in his U-Haul travel trailer, whatever it is, with his cats and his clothes, that's all he has. He's going to the furnished apartment, that's not his home or his house. It's his residence. Let's put it at that. It's his residence. He made it clear that he was going to scam people and send them either a PDF file or a couple of sheets of typing paper with his, his um, God, it's just hard to even read. I mean, when I saw these things and they were sent to me, it's just like, like a freshman in high school made these things to try to lure people to send the money. It's, I mean, I, I can't even feel sorry for people that got taken, but I can because people want to believe the best. You know, uh, scams 
It's not that the people were dumb, stupid. They just, they're not, they're not familiar and they think this guy is going to uh, help them. And that's farthest for the truth. And for all you people that ask me, what axe do I have to grind with this guy? Because look, he's a scammer. I'm here to protect you guys. Do not send him any money. Just wait on it. He's just trying to buy YouTube time to get strikes off, to get back in the YouTube good graces. He's already, um, he's thinking of a way. He's got to think of a way to capitalize on this. And it's not going to be by luring people to your Facebook group to sell them pics. You know, uh, you're not, you're not well known enough to, to sell pics. Uh, uh, like I said, you can do this and win nonstop for a month. That doesn't mean you're, you're good yet. You got to, you got to grind it out a lot longer, you know, and, and when you're red hot like you are, you got to capitalize and put real money, not this $25 and $50 bets. Whoopee, that's the goat. Seriously, I snicker at that. That is such small potatoes. And then you, you say you're going to make two. Let's say everything goes great, Christopher, and you make three grand a week. Three grand a week. That's only $150,000 a year. There's a, I wouldn't trade with you. I wouldn't, and, I, and anybody that says they would, you better think long and hard. The stress, the headaches, and the BS you gotta play and do, and how lucky you have to get, because just as you get lucky, you're gonna have some bad breaks. You know, you're gonna have some bad breaks. So let me go over this little notebook paper, and it's not beating a dead horse, and even if it is, I do what I want. Nobody's gonna tell me what to do on, on YouTube. Y'all can, y'all don't like it. You can fast forward, turn it off, but no one's gonna tell me what to what content to put out there. I got 240 subscribers of the best subscribers. Y'all request the stuff. Anybody that doesn't request or doesn't like, you know, wait for the next video. Maybe it'll be something you do like. So let me talk about Chris Chris Mitchell strategies. Don't ever play online. He beat that dead horse for over a year. Don't ever play online. He was in your face adamant, adamant about that. That's number one. Number one lie. That's a lie. You don't just say, oh, I, I, I quit my convictions and I changed my mind. Let's understand that's his number one lie. Let's go with number two lie. Don't ever play on electronic gaming table. He's done that numerous times, plays on the electronic gaming tables. You got a liar twice, twice. Mark Galing six times just to get your money back to get to even. That's a recipe for disaster. So that's, this is what people pay money for. I'm just, I'm just giving you the, the Reader's Digest version of the trashy ass strategy that people pay money for. I'm trying to save you guys. Bet on one side only. Wow, that's prolific. Self-explanatory. And that's, the, these are the two biggest things that just make him the laughing stock, the mental midget, the complete moron. This is his strategy. Understand this. Don't ever split. You don't ever want to split aces, eights, anything. You don't ever want to split. <laughs> you just got to bang your head against the wall on that one. Don't ever double down. You got a, an advantage to actually uh, double down on a, on a 10 or a 11 and... He tells you not to. And then he summarizes and uh, summarizes and says, the basic strategy was written for, by the casino, so you'll be a loser. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what a loser. This guy claims to be the goat, and this is the goat strategy. The goat is a liar. That's a true thing. Goat is a liar, and... Uh, when I have people that watch these videos with me and they see somebody raving about a week of ha uh, of good, the gambling gods will get you for celebrating and, and saying that. I'm telling you, gambling gods are out there and they strike down self-proclaimed goats, especially short five foot five goats. That's the only reason um, I can really say you're pathetic. Enjoy it while you're hot because you're too stupid to take three and 14 parlays when you're red hot like this. When you're red hot, when I, I've known gamblers and I've taken and I've booked bets, man, nothing's, nothing makes a book feel more uh, stressed when a red hot gambler is putting three and 14 parlays in and he can't miss when they got a red hot Houston team as a lot of other teams are red hot. 
three, four team parlays, ooh, those, those can add up. But in the long run, the book always wins. And uh, that's the bottom line. So then this moron, Christopher, let's call him Chris. He doesn't deserve to be called Christopher. Chris Mitchell. 15 minutes, he's going to charge you $100 on the phone for a consultation. Hmm. That's crazy. Hell, I think my lawyers, that's probably that. His lawyers screwed me as much as Chris is trying to screw you all. So, yeah, that's probably true. 30-minute consultation, 175 and then let's go up for an hour, 300 bucks. This guy has no, nothing he can share with you for $300. So, guys, get that through your head. $300 for an hour. Then he's over there, 5 in the morning. Can't be in bed like a normal person. He's up for whatever habits he's dealing with. <laughs> could be, it could, could go a lot of places with that. Um, let's say one, two, three weeks of winnings does not make you the GOAT. A month doesn't, two months doesn't. You gotta do this consistently, consistently. Hot streaks are hot and they, they are what you need. But I promise you, as I look into your eyes and tell you, you're going to have losing losing weeks, losing days. You're going to go and you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. You're just catching a hot little thing going on. And everybody's getting this hot. It's not you too, Christopher. Every day you've won, I've won as well. You know? Only I don't do the parlays like you do. But I want to tell you this. I, I, I did tell you on some picks, not because you gave them out, but uh, I did... Uh, play and you can tell probably what game I did not play that you had hmm let's hope the gambling gods don't get me for probably celebrating too early you know that that happens all the time so scratch that but anyways you know we, we talk about a mental midget here you know the only way Christopher Mitchell's son will ever look up to his father if he's 5'4 and shorter. So that's about the only way he'll ever look up to his father. As far as Stacy goes, Stacy, on my next video, I'm going to put up a good divorce attorney in Las Vegas because you really should be checking this out. You got great ammunition for any divorce case with all the stuff he puts out there. It's a combination of psychologically imbalanced, ego egomaniac and a narcissistic behavior and even if you're just doing that for grins you even said a year or so ago that you had to be the star at your high school you had to be in the light you had to get all the attention you craved attention that's just a narcissistic fool when you're in the gambling world unless you're billy walters uh there's so many others um uh, you're not jack nothing you're just you're just a little mental midget going around a little condominium complex doing your little thing to get attention that you never have you never have and you're with a deadbeat beaten up woman that has no self-confidence lacks everything because she's putting up with this behavior so understand that she will wise up one day anybody that watches your videos just in utter tears laughing at you so I mean that's the thing when you put up videos conning people lying to people trying to say these nice little speeches, trying to win people over. Let me tell you, Christopher, when you get, get clicked on, man, there's people are looking at my videos, looking at everybody's videos bashing you. I mean, you're not, YouTube's not gonna be drawing you anything. And then when you start to finally figure out how to try to capitalize on your picks, let me tell you about people that go to Taos. They're desperate people. They're very desperate and uh, as soon as you uh, have one or two bad days, these touts, these uh, people that go to touts jump ship and they're looking for the next hot person. So, if you think for any chance, two, three thousand dollars a week, minus the stress level, minus all your expenses, all your expenses, because yeah, you are you are cheating the government and not paying any tax. And hmm, I wonder who's probably writing stuff to the IRS and sending all your information to them. Hmm. Who could that be? Who could that be now? 
I'll just say this, Christopher. Don't ever mess with the IRS. And I know you're just a, you know, they're going to look at your videos and whatever else they can see. And let me tell you something. you got some incriminating stuff on your crazy ass uh, videos. So, good luck with that. Um, and, you know, show us your tax returns. You know, your show us how much you're claiming to make. You have all these entities. You you know, just not too long ago, you were bragging about ninety grand, bragging bragging about all this stuff. So you can prove all that. Tax returns prove it. Let's see a bank statement. Looking over there at three binders full of bank statements. I don't ever want to go there. I don't ever want to because you know what? When you start running off at the mouth talking about your income, your net worth, bad things happen. You know, you ought to count your blessings and you're not at all, if you just watch the way your channel's gone over the last year and a half, it's actually gotten worse and worse and worse. You know, now you're just buried up to your eyes in videos of people just telling the truth about you. And I got so many people, it's just hard to, to get people to really come on YouTube and and make a video. I promise I haven't forgotten about that. I still stay in touch with this person. Per persons. You know, so just just know this. You're going to get I'm going to I'm going to give you this free gambling advice. Wait till you get to that point where you can't buy a win. You can't pick a win. That red hot team and all these favorites, you're going through a little cycle right now in the gambling in the sports world right now is and you're not the only one winning. You know, it's no secret to take the Astros. That's easy. That's easy money. You're just stupid enough to not play it on the run line where you're risking minus 200 or 100 or 100 to win 50. Play it on the run line. Play it minus one and a half. I played it minus two and a half the last three nights. Alternative uh, run lines because they're blowing people out. Their bats are red hot. They're getting good pitching. So they're playing weak, weak, weak teams too. You know, let's face it, they've had... You had uh, Chicago White Sox come in to get swept at Minute Maid. That was pretty impressive. Then they just went and annihilated Baltimore. Now they're going into Detroit, and that's just as that's weaker. But we all know how baseball's played, and I promise you, you know, I've been doing this 35 years, and I've never sat there and put my hands up in the air and called myself the GOAT. We, you know, these hot streaks are not new. People that are gambled on sports, you get red hot. You have all the, all the uh, confidence. But just like that, confidence is shattered when these things don't go through. Like I said, let me just let you rewind it and just let's just do this for instance so a true professional can tell a person just running off at the mouth the truth Astros lose any of those last three games I know if and if nuts candy and butts I get all that that's why I'm just not throwing you under the bus because they did win and that's all that matters as Al Davis said just win baby okay but just realize how quickly when you have your eggs in one basket how that works out for you you know, it quickly diminishes returns. But you're gonna do what you wanna do, and I, I, like I said, I don't blame you, you're red hot, but just know I'm giving you this free advice. When you go ice cold, you're just gonna be asking Stacy for a pick. You know, I've been there so many times, you know. I tell the love of my life, find me a winner. Your guess is as good as mine. When you go through those, um, those um, times, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. You're not going to ever take that advice, but you're going to feel it one day, and you're going to feel it for a week or two, and it's just, it's going to happen. Anyways, congratulations on your little hot streak. You know, congratulations on that. Um, I hope people have made some money on it. I know it's nothing that you've just invented. These plays that you are playing are obvious plays. They're dead obvious. I mean, it's not like, oh my God, you discovered something that nobody else has discovered. Everybody knows that Oakland's red hot. Everybody knows the Astros are red hot. Everybody knows that Tampa Bay should be red hot. You know? So, I mean, there's so many. And I'm, 
you know, I'm just being honest, you know. I have nothing to gain. I don't ask any of you people for one dime. I'm just saying, do not ever listen to me. Like he says here, don't ever play online. I'm saying never, ever play a tout. Don't ever pay somebody for their sports picks. Ever. Ever. You know? So, guys, y'all have a great evening. Enjoy your Friday. And just remember it. Best case scenario, if he's making two grand a week, and we know this isn't happening. You're going to have losses. You're going to have losses. He's not making stupid, crazy money feeding a baby, feeding a lazy wife that stays at home that doesn't want to get a job and she doesn't contribute anything to that household other than following him around and changing a diaper and making some nasty tuna dish that makes me want to... Anyways, guys, just remember, that house is dysfunctional. It's not anything that is something you would want to change your life to be in that situation. Think about what I'm going to tell you. Change the way you think. And only then will you realize this guy's an imbecile, okay? Don't think that this is fun lifestyle. Don't think it's fun to sit there and hope and, and wish that he has good luck, okay? Just remember, he's not gaining anything from all of this other than a little bit of a hot streak. Realize he's a salesman. He's been pitching his scams all over the place for... All, that's all he is, is a professional pitch man. You know, Billy Mays, maybe Chris, is Billy Mays your dad? Interesting, they kind of look alike. Huh. Anyways, um, Christopher, good job on your picks. Go all in with another one of these teams. I love when you go all in. You know, it keeps us, it keeps us entertained. And do some more goat prancing around showing us how great you are because people get a kick out of that $25 and $50 place. I miss your $90,000 a month deal. The $90,000 a month, that must have been hard to live. $5,000 a day? Man, I, I, I guess you got humbled and you just want to go low key. Guys, subscribe. Smash that button. Just wanted to say that. And also I wanted to do this. There's no merch below. Never knew with that man either. But maybe I'll get some double jackpot stuff out there and see what happens. Because you're always going to get the truth. You're always going to get honest answers. And you're going to realize I'm not the GOAT. God, that's the, that's the truth. I probably really made people snicker there. But I'm going to give you all some great investments. I'm going to show you my portfolio, what the GOAT's invested in, in several portfolios. I've had a lot of requests for that. So leave in the comments section if you want to see this um, long video on what the goats invested in. Oops. What double jackpots invested in. Guys, y'all have a good night. And thank you very much for everything y'all do and all the support you give me. Y'all are awesome. Y'all have a great Friday.